these dynamic stamps, they will work on the Acrobat DC, the free version. Uh, you do not uh, require a subscription, so it should be no issue using them. It's just a matter of finding the right folder to put it in. We'll go through those steps. And then just typing in your information, the date. Uh, there's a few items like the date that will automatically populate for you. So. Okay, so now before we get started on your desktop, what we're gonna need is both stamps or any of the stamps that you have downloaded, just ready to go on the left-hand side of the screen and maybe preferably a, in just any kind of uh, deposition you may have saved on your computer. Now, the trickiest part of this is actually placing the stamps in the right folder after you have downloaded them. And then, but once we go through it, I'll be able to show you how to create a shortcut so you won't have to go through the whole process again. But follow along and uh, I'll try to keep it nice and organized. Now you're going to want to open up a file explorer and find this PC. It might look a little different on the top portion and the amount of drives might be different, but all you have to do is select local disk. Everybody should have it and double click it. Then what you're going to want to do is find the users folder. Uh, all the way at the bottom is going to be alphabetized. Uh, there might be a bunch of folders. There might be little, but everybody should have a users folder. So you're going to want to go ahead and double click that. Now, I don't have many users on my computer. It depends on everybody's computer, but everybody's going to have the account that's logged in at the moment. So whatever account you're logged in, usually your name, find it and double click it. And then we're going to want to find a folder called app data. Uh, this may be a full folder, maybe a light folder, but everybody's going to have an app data folder. So you're going to want to find that and double click it. Next step, we'll be finding the roaming folder. Uh, I believe everybody should only have three in here uh, and double click on the roaming. And then I think we only have like a few more to go. Now, because we are working with Adobe, we want to find the main Adobe file, which should be right at the top. Double click that and then select Acrobat. Now be careful, there will be another Adobe, there might not be, but we are working with Adobe Acrobat DC. So if you look at the top, you can follow along. We have local, C, uh, local DC, users, the name of your computer, app data, roaming, Adobe. You could even stretch it out and it'll open it all up at the top and you can follow along, make sure you're in the right portion. The only one that should be different is Yeah Yeah Jones. So the name of your computer. So then we're going to select Acrobat and then select DC. And now we're finally at the folder that we need to be at. Your computer name, App Data, Roaming, Adobe, Acrobat, and DC. Now, you may or may not have a stamps folder. If you do not, just right click, new, folder, and just name it, capital S, capital S T A M P S. It has to be just like that. Now, because I already have one, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to make a new one. Uh, go ahead and press enter. I'm going to change to this one. And go ahead and delete this for me, just for me. Now you're going to want to double click on your stamps folder that you just made or already had. and go back to your two uh, stamps that you had placed on the desktop. And you're just gonna wanna drag them in one at a time. Now, instead of having to go to all those folders like we just did, a really easy trick is to create a shortcut. So we're gonna want to go back to the page where we made the stamps folder or where the stamps folder was at. And then we're gonna want to right click on the stamps folder and select 
create shortcut and it should place it right in that same folder. And all you're going to want to do is drag that shortcut and place it on the desktop. Close that out and then we'll show you how this, this worked. Go away. So go ahead and check out your new shortcut, double click it and boom, you just bypass all those folders that you had to select one at a time and you're straight on here if you ever need to change your stamps. So now we're gonna go ahead and open up one of our PDFs. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and find the comment toolbar. Uh, if you don't have these uh, icons on the right hand side, you can go to view tools, comment and open. The main goal, whichever way you open it, is gonna to wanna to show your toolbar, which is gonna be at the top. It'll show you which one's open, currently comment. So again, you can go to your icons on the right hand side, comment, or you can go to view tools and select from there. Ideally, we want this toolbar. So one more time, comment, or go to view, tools, comment, open. And now we have a toolbar. So we want to go for stamps. And once we open stamps, we'll have the default stamps and we'll see also yours should have the smart stamp for each one. Now here's the cool part. So we'll start with this one. Now notice the dates already pre-filled. Now we'll just click. And then we have a window. Now, when you go to add it, if this is the first time you've used the Adobe Acrobat DC program, it may ask you for a few uh, information items such as identity, name, title, company. If you see this window, all you need to do at the very bottom of that window, it says do not show again, just press OK. Mine won't show up because I've already used this before and I've pressed do not show again. I'm not sure how to show the window again. Uh, so, but I'm pretty sure it will pop up and just press do not show again. It's not of importance to the exhibit stickers themselves. Enter your exhibit number. All right, now we're going to enter our witness name. And then we will enter the reporter name. Let's use the real name. Okay. And there you have it. Now you have a nice crisp exhibit sticker. You can't edit it. If you need to redo it, you just have to redo the whole thing. Just delete it. And then resize and place it. Now it just gives you an option, uh, which regardless of what it is, how big, big or small, you zoom in, it'll be crisp, easy to read and clear. And now same process, uh, flatten it and just, you know, print it to PDF. Now, if yours doesn't show color, just select, uh, remove the check mark for print and grayscale and then everything else should be by default. Save it. Oh, I'm bad with my caps. Caps lock today. Not good. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and open up that PDF that we just had. And there's our flat and final PDF. Uh, the exhibit sticker is firm, can be changed. And then we'll go ahead and show the defendant sticker. Same thing, back to the comment tab. And we'll go to the defendant sticker. And then what we are going to do is try some very long words and show you how it adjusts. All 
Okay, witness name. Oh, let's see, we've used that. Let's do. Okay, that works. Let's do a longer one. And reporter name. And we're done. There you go. It's been adjusted, still clear, uh, kind of reformats it to where it's not uh, overly small. And then we can resize and place it wherever we'd like to place it. And then we could just reflat now and if we wanted. Uh, I know normally you wouldn't have two on there, but this was just for uh, example sake. So, and this should cut down on the time it takes to place these stickers. Uh, like I said, if you mess up on entering any of the information, you just have to redo the stamp, uh, just delete the stamp and try it again.